uh, Nordic combined. I brought uh, three nice young gentlemen for you. <laughs> we have, um, well, two Frenchmen on the podium, Sebastian Lacroix, Jason Lamy Chapuis, and Magnus Krupp. So, um, I would like to start with you. Um, actually, that was quite a spectacular race today, right? You started in the 16th position after the jump. So, what was the plan going into the race? Uh, yeah, it's incredible for me. There was no, was no plan for me. I just want to push hard and see what's happening. I know that uh, I had Magnus Krog with me and he's a strong cross-country skier. So, so I, I knew that I had to, to race with him to make a good result. So it's it's very nice for me, and I had very very good skis. Uh, Skim and make a good good job today, and uh, with Salomon it was perfect. So I, I feel that uh, I could make a, a good good result till the beginning of the way. So it's very very good for me. So and I believe um, it's also the first time having two Frenchmen on the podium, right? So great team effort. Uh, where did that come from today? <laughs> I think we had a good coach, so that's why we have we have two French guys on the podium. So yeah, it's incredible to be here with Jason, and uh, it's very very good for a French team. So it's perfect. Yeah. Magnus, I think um, you are also quite happy um, after last year you won here in Kusumo for the first time in your career. Now uh, back on the podium, second place. How do you feel? <laughs> Uh, I feel great. Uh, always have a good time here in Kusamo. I love the jumping hill here, and uh, the track is pretty hard and suits me suits me well. So I'm happy to be here in Kusamo. Um, that looked pretty strong on the last uphill. What you did there? Where did you take the energy from to get the extra boost to um, yeah leave the guys behind and then even win the, the team, uh, the, the sprint for a finish line uh, this closely, I guess. So. Um, on the last lap, I was just trying to remember how how fun it was last year when I was winning and the memories just kept coming up again and I used it as a big motivation for me to to make a good sprint to the finish line. Oh, great, thanks. Jason, back on top. Um, second weekend on, of the World Cup, now finally on the very top of the podium. Tell us something about how you felt during the last 50 meters in front of the finish line. Yeah, it's just a, a great, great day for me because um, uh, I enjoyed the whole day. I enjoyed my my jump this morning, and uh, I enjoyed the the race, even though it was difficult. I could uh, go my own pace, and uh, when I saw that I still had 20 seconds ahead, uh, I was still 20 seconds ahead of the, the main group. I could enjoy the, the last 200 meters and uh, wave at the crowd, and uh, I love it here. And it, it's also a, a first to be uh, two French guys on the podium, so it was, it's just a great feeling. You know, uh, during the last few years, we always talked a lot about the jumping part of the competitions and the difficult conditions here in, in Ruka. How was it um, yesterday and today, this morning? It was two two perfect days. I mean, uh, we usually have uh, difficult wind conditions, but uh, today, with the nets and the the way the the wind comes, it, it was perfect. And I think we had a fair competition. Uh, Halvard did a great jump and fell. Um, he he could have uh, uh, started in front, but I mean, uh, except for that, uh, it was a, a, a great competition and fair. Well, thanks, guys, so far. Are there any more questions? Okay, this is apparently not the case, so then we're done, I guess. <laughs> Thank you.